learning a lot included dealing with racial prejudice on the road. You know, there was a statement that I would, that I used to say in the concerts all the time, and uh, probably need to go back to saying it again because it's still true. God is as colorblind as he can be. And there, there still is, and there has been a time in our country that it seems that everybody doesn't know that. And I was in a concert area. <clears throat> we were all seated in the restaurant. We were waiting to be served. And the group was the Spurlows, and a lot of us just hungry, ready to eat. And we were sitting in the restaurant, and no one came to wait on us. And so some of the girls got up and got menus. They just thought they were busy. And a man came up, and he was the owner of the restaurant. And he said, you cannot eat in this restaurant. You'll have to leave. He pointed his finger right at me, and he said, you know, I wouldn't hurt that kid for anything in the world. There are only four black kids in the group. He said, I wouldn't hurt that kid for anything in the world. He's looking, looking at me, but he said, I cannot let people of, ra of all races eat together in my restaurant. I simply cannot do it. Now, I think it, there, it, had that happened before I became a Christian, you know, I, I might have reacted a little differently. But I looked at him and I really didn't hate him. But I saw right away what hate does.